Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. Today we're going to play with real-time voice conversion. If you ever wanted to have a different voice on a Zoom call or a Discord chat or wherever chats are sold, this solution allows you to change your voice in real time in any number of ways with a great deal of flexibility and customization. And they've added a whole slew of AI voices recently. The solution we're talking about is called VoiceWave and you download it on your Windows PC and it allows you to change your voice in real time in any of these applications that support any kind of microphone input. It includes, of course, the voice changer, an audio recorder, a soundboard with sound effects that you can include into your broadcast or your calls, a noise reducer, an audio mixer, and lots of different popular sound effects. And they also promise some cool new features coming up in the AI world, AI voice generator, a solution for creating AI cover songs, text-to-speech, and more. So inside the interface, you've got several tabs here. You've got the microphone, which gives you access to all of the voices that you want to change. Here is the soundboard that allows you to download and then play sounds, kind of like a cart machine in radio. So for example, if I wanted this goofy ah sound, you only have to download it once. So a quick download and now I can include that in anything I'm doing. Or maybe a burp. Have categories like atmosphere, Christmas, funny, horror, game. So this tab allows you to convert a voice with a recorded file or a file that you record right here within the interface and not a live one. So for example, I could hit record mode, and click on this microphone here. Hi, I'm recording a sample to show the fine folks at home how this all works. Hi, I'm recording a sample to show the fine folks at home how this all works. I am recording a sample to show the fine folks at home how this all works. Hi, I'm recording a sample to show the fine folks at home how this all works. Hi, I'm recording a sample to show the fine folks at home how this all works. Fine folks at home how this all works. Next, we have what they call the voice laboratory, and this is where you're starting from scratch. So you take the basic voice, and then you can add qualities to it. So if I click the personality tab, for example, I can now adjust the vocal thickness in real time. We're just dragging these bars around like this. There's various personas I can click and drag, and as I do that, it changes qualities of my voice. Let me go ahead and reset all that, turn that off. I can just scroll through this bar here, and it will change the characteristics of my voice. Right here, robot voice. I can change all these parameters. I can click this, I can uh, kind of choose which kind of robot voice we want. <laughs> Going on. Well, we just have some nice basic some nice go basic effect, nice, go nice, effect, nice, go nice, effect, nice, go effect, nice, go effect. Room reverb, which is adjustable. So it doesn't have to be overwhelming like that, which is a really great quality because a lot of these things just have like reverb, on, off, or cavern, and that's it. And you don't have a lot of uh, control, but here you absolutely do. So lots of different things you can play with here. And then the settings tab is where you choose which microphone you're using and which speakers you're using. So let's check out some of the AI voices. Now my guess is that these voices are either RBC models that somehow are incorporated into this interface. And I would love to see the ability for us to add our own RBC models. That would add a lot of really cool functionality to this for people here on this channel who know how to create our own RBC models. And just like any voice conversion solution, the more that you can affect your voice than real life, it's going to sound a little bit more like the character that you're trying to sound like. For example, if I scroll down here. If I just talk in my normal voice like this, you can tell that the SpongeBob voice has been trained behind it. But if I put a little juice on it and do my best SpongeBob impersonation, it's just going to sound even more authentic. Now, you might be wondering why I've got the microphone right up to my face when I normally don't do that on these videos. Well, I'm finding that for some reason, with these AI voices, it sounds much better if it gets a really nice strong signal. So I put my mouth right up to the microphone and it just works better. <laughs> but I do enjoy the quality of these AI voices. Some of them, of course, are better than others. And in this case, I am putting on my own UK accent on top of what's there. To have the ability to preview these voices by clicking the play arrow. Change your voice in real time with ease us voice waves. Download quickly with the arrow. And then on my best wizard impersonation. I am of course putting on some sort of an accent and doing an impersonation of sort of a Gandalf character. But the model is bringing the authenticity of the actor's original voice to the party. Plus I never saw any of these movies and I don't know if he talks like this or not. So now how do you get this to work with all your fun toys like Discord or Zoom or any of the others that take microphone input? Well, it's pretty simple. When you run this program, it creates its own microphone source that then you can choose in the audio setup of any program that you use a microphone for. If you've got a Zoom meeting going, you just go under audio, go to audio settings, 
and your microphone then would become the VoiceWave Microphone Ease US virtual device. And when you choose that microphone, any voice you choose in the system here becomes the voice that gets sent down Zoom. Same thing with something like Discord. You go to your settings down here, scroll down to voice and video, and make sure that your microphone source is the VoiceWave microphone. They'll choose the voice you'd like, and that's the one that they'll hear on the other end. You should be aware that these AI capabilities require something of a beefy computer that can handle the processing required to do something like this in real time. Now, the non-AI voices will work just fine on most moderately charged computers, but these AI things, well, they need a little bit of a... Uh, right now, I'm running this on an NVIDIA RTX 3090. It's got 24 gigs of VRAM, so it should be able to handle this pretty well. On my RTX 2070, it still worked, but it was a little choppier. Just be aware of the specs of your system. But even without the AI voices in play, you might find some enjoyment with this software. It's outstanding. It's unparalleled. It's, uh, it's unsurpassed. If you like uh, voice conversion and you got the horsepower to try, you can maybe give these a try. The non-AI voices in the soundboard is pretty sweet set of features even by itself and the fact that you don't have to do an ongoing subscription for the rest of your life is not a bad deal either so if you do a lot of online chatting or gaming and things like that and a voice converter in real time would be of use to you or just a little bit of fun well why not check this one out it works pretty freaking well and i've tried a lot of these things in my time some of them require subscriptions this one does not so just see what you think if these are the types of things you like to learn about let me know by subscribing because after all it doesn't cost you anything and this is the type of stuff we cover all the time if you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...